Finally, a character preview for Blade. I thought this guy was forgotten, swallowed up by Kafka hype train. I barely see Blade discussion anywhere. All right, I'll make this quick. The answer to the question is, no. He's not a good breaker like Dan Hang, at least for now. The main reason is that he's a DPS that prefers HP build. His enhanced basic attack, follow-up attack, and ultimate all scale with max HP. Well, it also scales with his attack, but I believe the multiplier will be more on the max HP because it's the theme of his mechanics. This is a different situation than other DPS that scales with attack. We have many attack buffers, but no HP buffers. Therefore, his gears will be centered around HP stats. Body piece will most likely go to crit, just like any other DPS. Boots are speed. He needs more actions as his meter is kinda meh. He doesn't have any other source for energy generation aside from enhanced basic attack, follow-up, and ultimate. I calculated he will roughly need two turns to unleash his first ultimate and then need three turns for the second, all assuming he gets hit once every turn. So, yeah, it's rough. I even considered giving him energy recharge rope, but not sure if it's worth it. The sphere could be wind damage or HP. Both stats will boost his damage, I just don't know which one is stronger. If let's say the damage difference is small between the two, I rather pick HP as it increases his survivability as well. And finally, the rope is going to be HP or energy recharge, just like I mentioned earlier. His substat will also focus on crit, speed, and max HP. There's just no room for break effect here. The new relic set that I called the most underwhelming Longavus Disciple is looking great for him. It increases his max HP and gives crit buff. Planar ornaments will definitely go to Salsado or Rutilant Arena. My personal pick for ornaments is Salsado as it requires less crit stat to activate the effect, and I find follow-up and ultimate has more potential than his enhanced basic attack. Yes, it takes a while to unleash his ultimate, but if there is a way to put the aggro on him without shielding, he will be able to gain meter faster and do follow-up more often. Now, which light cone should he use? Here are the available light cones for destruction characters. Being less dependent on attack stat actually has an advantage. You don't really care about the attack stat of these light cones, and HP is a bloated stat. With the gear setup I mentioned earlier, Blade will have 5,000 or 6,000 GP a mere 300 GP difference between 5-star Light Cone and 3-star Light Cone won't make any significant difference. This means it will depend on which Light Cone has a better effect. If you play Genshin Impact, we once had a similar character. A 5-star called Albedo has a kit that scales with defense, and his best weapon was once a 3-star sword. The stat is low, obviously, but it has a really good effect that increases his crit rate by 28%. It's a high crit rate boost. Coincidentally, we have a similar light cone in Star Rail, a 3-star 2 and increases character crit rate by 24%. For those who find difficulty in balancing their crit ratio, this light cone is worth considering. Collapsing Sky also has potential with its 40% basic attack increase. The same goes for the Shattered Home, but it has more strict conditions. My point is, his signature light cone might still be the best in slot, however. Blade has more F2P-friendly options in case you don't have the pay-to-win ones. In terms of playstyle, Blade is very straightforward. His skill turns his basic attack into an enhanced version which now deals splash damage instead of single target. This effect lasts for three turns, not counting the turn where this effect is activated. Upon using his skill and attacking with the enhanced basic attack, he loses HP. And every time he loses HP, he gains a stack of charge. When the stack reaches maximum, he launches a follow-up attack and heals his HP. He hates shield guys. If he's hit when there's a shield, he won't gain a stack, so don't shield him. His ultimate set his HP to 50%, which could go both ways. HP reduction or HP increase. If he uses the ultimate when his HP is below 50%, it will heal it to 50%. And if he uses it when his HP is above 50%, this means it will reduce it. This is actually a nice effect. The ultimate damage scales with his max HP, attack, and a total of HP loss during the battle, capped at 90% HP. So his rotation will go like this. First, he uses his skill which gives him one stack. Then he attacks the enemy with enhanced basic attack to get more stacks until his ultimate is ready. I assume when the stack reaches maximum, he will automatically launch follow-up attack. Considering that the follow-up attack also heals his HP, I think it's better to use the ultimate before it. 
If the follow-up attack is launched first, when he uses his ultimate, his HP will be set back to 50%, which makes the heal useless. But that's something we can't control perfectly. In summary, Blade will be strong and F2P friendly. Is he going to be meta? I don't know. But he should be strong enough to compete with other premium DPS.